everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope you had a great weekend. Today's video is going to be all about my favorite products for staying matte and oil free throughout the day. So as the summer months start rolling in, I've definitely noticed a change in my skin. If you guys don't know, or if you're new to my channel, my skin is very oily. I'm super oily in my T-zone right here. I'm a little bit more combination to normal on my cheeks, but it still can get really oily depending on the products I'm wearing or not wearing. So I wanted to share with you guys all my favorite products that I love that really work with my skin that I have found that really help keep me matte throughout the day and keep me oil free. I know it's really really hard for us oily girls to kind of go into a store and find something that's really going to work. A lot of products say that they are mattifying or they say they're going to keep you oil free but let's be honest a lot of those products really don't work and don't say that they're going to do what they do. Take it from experience I've purchased so 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 many products that are for oily skin and they do absolutely jack for my skin so I've returned those things I don't keep things that I really don't use I found a bunch of holy grail things that I use on a daily basis that I think you guys will absolutely love so if you want to see all the products that I love for oily skin and staying matte throughout the day then just keep on watching so I'm first gonna start out with a skincare product so I think the biggest misconception with people with oily skin like myself I was this person too when I was in high school is to moisturize I feel like a lot of people don't think they should moisturize because they're oily but when you're oily it kind of starts from the inside and goes out so when you're really not moisturized your skin is producing more oil to hydrate your skin if it's dehydrated so you really really need to moisturize there are a bunch of different moisturizers out there for oily skin that are more lightweight and not as thick and creamy for someone with dry skin so the one I absolutely love is by belief this is the true cream aqua bomb this is amazing because it's so lightweight and it really really sinks into your skin this is a gel moisturizer as you can see I used a ton of this stuff but this just really really soaks into my skin I wake up feeling nice and plump and refreshed and I feel hydrated but not to the point where I feel really really oily so I I love this again it's super lightweight it really really soaks into the skin and your skin will thank you for using this because your skin does need hydration whether you like it or not whether you want to believe it or not if you are oily you do need to start hydrating so this is my favorite I will always repurchase this and it's been a lifesaver for my skin so a mask that I absolutely swear by every time I went into Sephora and was looking for something when I was a little bit younger everyone told me to try the glam glow super mud mask I have that one I love it for spot treating my face but this one I use all over my face and I feel like it's just as good or even better than the glam glow one and it's like a quarter of the price this is the sephora mud mask with zinc and copper in it this stuff is intense if you have a little bit more sensitive skin i have a little bit of a sensitivity in my cheek area this will tingle just a little bit it does stink a lot which can be bothersome to some people so be aware of that when you do purchase this but this is only 19 dollars, and this makes my skin so matte afterwards it's insane not to the point where i feel super dry but like a good matte where i just extracted everything and my skin feels super clean so i love this i mentioned this before in my Sephora collection favorites video and a lot of you mentioned that you like this as well when this first came out this was selling out everywhere and people love this if you look at the reviews online a lot a lot of people say that they like this better than the glam glow one it reminds them of the glam glow one so if you don't want to fork out the $69 for glam glow I would try this one first but I absolutely love this I use this about once or twice a week and has definitely made a difference on my skin next I quickly want to talk about blotting papers I typically never used to carry makeup in my purse but recently I started doing that just so I can kind of touch on my face especially during the summer when I do get really really oily throughout the day and I want my makeup to last all day long and look really flawless so I've been reaching for blotting papers these are by NYX these are their fresh face blotting papers I know they have like a green tea one a charcoal one you can get blotting papers pretty much everywhere I feel like they do the exact same thing no matter like what they say on them Bosha has some Sephora has some I love these I just think they're really easy to kind of throw in your purse and kind of just touch up during the day I like blotting papers a little bit more than touching up with powder just because I don't want to put powder on my brush and then like keep my oils on my face rather take off my oils than you know just powder them down a little bit so I will do this first and then if I want to go in with powder I will but I typically don't need to after I use a blotting paper because it just takes out everything it makes my makeup last and it looks very refreshed so I love these and these are just super affordable you get a hundred sheets in there for like six or seven dollars so this is my favorite one and I think it's really cute because it is purple all right next couple products are primers that I want to talk to you guys about so the first one is the Sephora eight hour mattifying moisture sunscreen I actually use this before any of my primers specifically during the summer you should be wearing sunscreen all year round but I specifically like using this during the summer because it is a mattifying moisturizer so I will prep my skin with this in the morning before I put all my makeup and let it soak in for a little bit this is amazing again it has 20 SPF in it and it is a mattifying moisturizer so it's really gonna hydrate your face but also leave your skin a little bit mattifying so it's great to kind of prep your skin for your primers and your foundations I love this it's very affordable they do have an acne prone one if you are a little bit more acne prone I get acne prone down here in my jaw area because it is a hormonal area 
area for acne, but I love this. Again, it's so affordable. You can find that at Sephora and online, and a lot of people don't really talk about this, but I think it's absolutely amazing. So the two primers I want to mention today, I have a deluxe size sample of this one, but I want to go out and buy the full size because I absolutely love it. This is the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Pore Refiner. I have tried the Benefit Professional. I've tried the Smashbox one. I've tried a bunch of different pore minimizing primers. This is my absolute favorite one. It really just sinks into my pores and fills everything in. It makes an amazing, flawless canvas for your foundation. What I've realized with this primer and a lot of the other pore primers I've used is I used to kind of rub them into my skin. If you pat them in, it's really going to push in that product to kind of fill in those pores. This is no exception. It is a bit of a pricier product, but it is amazing and it really does make your foundation look flawless. So the next primer I have is by Makeup Forever. This is their mattifying primer, step one skin equalizer. This is so, so, so mattifying. If you are very, very oily, this is for you. If you're a little bit more combination, you might not like using this unless it's in this area of your face where you get super oily. Like I will only use this in my T-zone area and a little bit on my cheeks because this is super mattifying. It's insane. A little bit goes a very long way, but you get a lot of product and it is a little pricey, but it will last you forever because you really only need to use like half a pinky amount. It's insane, but this has made a huge difference in my foundation. These two together are amazing too. If you want a little bit more pore feeling and then you want to really, really mattify it up, these are amazing. But this, if you just need some mattification, girl, you need to try this. It is the bomb.com. So the two foundations that I want to talk about for you all that are amazing for my skin, and I feel like you guys would absolutely love them as well. This first one, I feel like everyone swears by this because it has worked for so many people and everyone absolutely adores it. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Makeup. I have mentioned this so many times. It's a broken record already. I love this. This is probably my holy grail foundation. I just always go back to this. Even when I try out a new foundation, I always compare it to this because it works so, so, so well with my skin. It is a medium to full buildable coverage foundation. So if you don't like something super heavy and cakey on your skin, you might not like this. They do have a double wear light. So it's going to be a little bit of a lighter formula, but it's going to give you the same beautiful coverage and kind of finish to your skin. If you haven't tried this, I would get a little sample and give it a go. It is my absolute favorite. Everyone raves about it for a very good reason. And it just looks beautiful on the skin. The other foundation I have, I actually discovered last year while I was working at Sephora. This is the Becca Evermatte Shine Proof Foundation. I have mine in the color Cashmere. They do have a mattifying primer as well, but I feel like that's way too dry for my face and it really just kind of cracks and crumbles up my foundation. But this is absolutely amazing. This is very different than the Estee Lauder Double Wear because it's a little bit of a thicker foundation, so it's more of a cream, where I feel like the Double Wear is a little bit more of a liquid consistency. It has more of a runny formula, so it's not gonna feel super heavy on the face. This does feel a little heavier on the skin, but for someone with super oily skin, I actually don't mind that. I feel like it's very comfortable on the skin. It really blends out like a dream, so it's not super hard to work with, but it does feel a little bit heavier on the skin because it is a cream. Again, it's really, really nice to work with. This gives a beautiful full coverage finish and it just covers up everything. It makes you look like a porcelain doll. I absolutely love this. If you are struggling finding something for your oily skin for foundation, if you want something a little bit more high end, I highly recommend these. I do have some from the drugstore that are more for mattifying the skin and keeping you less oily, but I really don't find those super intensely mattifying. I really like these to give me a really gorgeous, flawless base and keep me matte throughout the day. So these are my two holy grail foundations. A couple loose powders that I love. The Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder in the color Translucent and it's probably no surprise to you all. I only really use it under my eyes. I know some people use it to kind of clean up their contour. I don't want to waste this precious baby because she was expensive, but this is amazing. It is more of a dry matte finish. So if you don't like something that's super dry, you probably won't like this, but I just absolutely love this. You can use this all over your face. It gives a beautiful kind of satin matte finish, which I think is gorgeous on people with oily skin. This doesn't look super matte and flat on the face, but it does keep your oils at bay and it looks really, really gorgeous on. But if you don't want to spend the money on something crazy like that for a powder. I would definitely give a go the Palladio Rice Powder. This is amazing and this is also in translucent. You can buy this at Sally's Beauty Supply or Ulta. I find this really, really good. I find it very dupable to the Laura Mercier one. I find that this one has a little bit more coverage, but the end finish is just as beautiful. I will use this both under my eyes and to clean up my contour. It gives a beautiful matte finish. I find this a little bit more mattifying than the Laura Mercier one, but if you were on a budget, I would definitely give this one a go. It has been amazing recently and it's been one of my new favorites. If you have oily skin, I highly, highly recommend setting your foundation no matter what kind of finish your foundation has. I will always set my foundation whether it's with a translucent powder or a kind of powder foundation. The two powder foundations that I swear by, I have been using this one for so long and it is raved about all the time. This is the MAC Studio Fix Powder. 
I actually have like three different compacts of these in different colors so when I go throughout the year I have a color that matches me because I love this so much this is a very full coverage foundation you can actually use this by itself if you do like a powder foundation I use this very lightly to kind of set my foundation because it does give me a matte finish and it gives a beautiful kind of light coverage to your skin as well so if you want extra coverage I would go for this guy the other one I've been loving recently I actually bought with that Becca foundation a long time ago when I was working at Sephora this is the makeup forever duo matte powder this is amazing I have been using this way too much recently <laughs> it's really been the only powder I've been using to set my foundation it's actually broken so that's how much I love this thing it goes with me everywhere and I use this to refresh my makeup throughout the day too this is a beautiful foundation you can again you can use it by itself or on top of a liquid this gives a really beautiful like satin matte finish so it doesn't leave you looking super flat but I love this it has great coverage and again it keeps me matte throughout the day and I just cannot get enough of it last but not least I have two setting sprays that I swear by. The first one is the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. This is the long lasting one. I did try the chill one which is supposed to be for oily skin but I found that did absolutely nothing for my skin so I reach for this one all the time. I've gone through a couple of these already but it really really keeps my makeup in place and makes my makeup last all day long. The one I've been reaching for recently is actually a newer product. I mentioned this a couple times before as well. This is the Bosha White Charcoal Mattifying Makeup Setting Spray. I've heard a lot of people don't like this because it leaves like little white specks on their face. I haven't had an issue with that but I really love this it does smell like charcoal so if you don't really like that scent you might not like this but I find that this really does help make my makeup stay matte and last throughout the day a lot longer than if I didn't set it at all so I love both of these products very much I haven't found one from the drugstore that I like too much I did try the NYX mattifying one but it's not as good as these ones I mean if you were on a budget I would give it a go and see if it works for you but these are my two red eyes and I just cannot live without them all right so that's it for this video I hope it helped you out and I hope you guys enjoyed it give it a big thumbs up for me if you did and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I love you all and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!